you're wondering what that smell is, it's time you were treated. No. Right. Hey there. Got the shakes, huh? Don't worry. Doc Manning will fix you up. Is it that obvious? What can Reliant yeah. Medical do for you? I've been zoned in like a week. My whole body feels like it's crumbling. Yeah, coming down off Aurora isn't easy. Oh my goodness, another poor soul. All right, tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? I'm curious if you're addicted to the stuff. Hell, that's what they want. Well, unfortunately, yes. You see. The more Aurora that a user absorbs, the more resistance their body builds up to its active ingredients. That means the user needs larger and larger doses in order to feel its full effect. Eventually, the doses get so incredibly large, the user's nervous system simply can't handle the overload. That's a very wise choice. Since you're clearly a first-time visitor to Reliant Neon, I'd love to offer you a free checkup, but I'm afraid I'm dangerously low on supplies. I can assure you it isn't by choice. You see, I'm a bit... at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. I've spoken to the people at Reliant Medical Corporate, I've talked to the Freestar Rangers, I've even gone to the Freestar Collective Council. Every answer is always the same. We're working on it. It's corruption at the highest levels. Ugh. So aggravating. There is, actually. But it requires... outside assistance. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. That would be amazingly helpful. It's a relief to meet someone who gives a damn about anyone other than themselves for a change. Oh, and I'll pay you directly for the supplies, of course. It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. There's nothing to worry about. As long as packages aren't coming off a commercial vessel, the authorities won't scan them. That's why this has to be done slowly and methodically. If I get too much all at once, we'll catch on to my scheme. There's nothing else to be done about it. These people need my help. Anyway, I have a contact over at the clinic in the Narian system. Abby Edding? She's one of the nurses there. She'll get you started. Thank you so much for doing this. You have no idea how helpful it'll be for the poor folk that live in Ebside. We both apprenticed under Mary Cartwright at the medical facility in Aquila City. Spent a heck of a lot of hours working together. Abby and I got along exceptionally well. Don't get me wrong, we're just friends of course. She's young enough to be my daughter. I almost felt bad leaving her behind when I was hired to work for Reliant in Neon, but I knew she'd do well wherever she ended up. Reached out to her a few months ago when I ran into trouble here, and she's been helping me ever since. Huh. Well, it's completely dependent upon how long the user's been addicted. People have been using for, say, two years or less. I've been able to put through a full detoxification program successfully. But there are others who have been addicted pretty much all their adult lives, and I have yet to try and cure someone who hasn't relapsed. Aurora stimulates the neural circuits in the brain. 
specifically targeting the neurotransmitter serotonin in the prefrontal cortex. This causes significant sensory hallucinations, both auditory and visual. That's the enticement factor. As you can imagine, this state is highly addictive, and the user gets stuck in a vicious cycle. They need more Aurora to satisfy their cravings. If you need help, remember Relay. Ma'am, I'm just hey, curious. What can I do for you? I understand that. I'm not blaming you for it. Got to call someone's power kept going out. Need no something? A heat leech as long as my leg. Yeah. New-ish. I've only been here a year, which. Well, when you compare it against Dr. Darvish's career, it's not much, is it? I'm thrilled to have the opportunity, but it's been an adjustment. Very few cases here are simple, and most of them are medical emergencies. Hey, let's keep our voices down. The clinic doesn't exactly know I'm giving its supplies away. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard Bayou really has a vice grip on Neon right now. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it shouldn't draw any suspicion from the clinic. I'll have them loaded onto your ship. What the clinic doesn't know won't hurt them. That's why it's important to keep this as confidential as possible. I'm putting my job on the line to do this, but I know that the people of Neon need help I'm willing to take the risk and skim a few supplies from the clinic. But if the clinic finds out, then I'm out of a job and Neon is out of supplies. Again. So, let's not be too conspicuous. He's a good friend of mine. We both worked at the same clinic in Aquila City. The work was hard and I was really young and nervous. But he always looked after me during those days and helped me as much as he could. So, to answer your question, I'm doing this because I know for a fact he'd do the same for me. No questions asked. Sorry. I can't do that. This is the most I can give you without drawing suspicion. You're welcome to try to wear me down. Sorry, but... I can't. Look, I'd like to help, but... I might be able to do that after all. Oh, I really shouldn't do this. If the clinic finds out... <sighs> All right. You win. You're very... persuasive. I can throw in a few extra supplies, but I'm not going to make this a regular thing, okay? They'll be loaded onto your ship. No matter how much we learn, we're only just...
Your ship is way bigger than that. Ships separated. Engaging drive. I appreciate it when you're able. Any day you make it. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. You aren't looking well at all. Perhaps you'd better sit down. Fantastic. That'll really help out around here. Thanks for everything. These supplies will be put to good use. Here, take this. I threw in a bit extra for you, since you really came through for me. 